Has to go back door to Scotty Barrow, who gets it over to Ben Headley, back in the left back position. Cal Griffiths firmly established himself as the right back this season, as he has done for the last couple of years. Still buzzing from his South Shield goal, no doubt. Now Lees plays it forward, finds uh, Cornish. Lovely turnout, and he's broken through. He's put it into the box for Mitch Curry to shoot. Good defending, it's come to the edge of the box. Kerr's not got it clear. Now it finally ends up on this right-hand side. Front three, but then they drop into, into that midfield with Barton as well, as that holding midfielder um, wearing the number 22 shirt. Dude, and the clearance uh, just finds his way to Main. Main uses strength to hold the ball, gets a free kick. Foul there from Matthews. Darlow get it underway, find Ben Little. He's quite infield, plays a lovely ball for Curry. He's into the penalty box, he gets on his right foot, he shoots! Straight at the keeper. Ben Little found his... Uh, Buddy there, very nicely in the box. Now Headley tries to put it in. No. That's a good chance there. It'd probably to say Mitch Curry could have done a slightly better job of testing Cam Mason in the goal. Uh, but again, once again, the ball's been slipped through there. And that, and that defensive unit of, of Curzon are struggling with that threaded through ball. And Darlow, two half chances, you'd probably call them. Uh, but that second one, probably the better of the two chances. Uh, and looking to thread it through and then you've got Devon Matthews on the, the left of the centre back who's probably the, the younger and more oh, good ball back. released on this right hand side for Curzon tried to get the cross and it's ricocheted it's fallen for another player to put it in there 14 Moles yeah, there's a few times they've just got in behind isn't it down the back line and then cross the ball in along the six yard box as Darla commit their first foul of the game it looks like it's little and we're uh, seven minutes in, and it's been a, a fairly positive start from both teams. From both teams, yeah, absolutely. Shouldn't be a good game. Box, so, and now they've got a free kick, which they're going to pretty much put into the penalty spot. It's got a flick on. Oh, Matty Young had to get a touch to it, and it's out for a corner. He's, he's forcing the defender up, isn't he, and then just trying to switch, uh, get in behind, but it was a bit of a heavy pass through there, and it was always going through to Cam Mason in the goal. There's a p potential injury here to, to George Waring, the number 12, for... Um, Curzon Ashton and uh, Alex Kenyon a, another th former Chester player has just gone to, to warm up oh, mistake at the back there, it's cut out by Cornish, finds Cedric Main Cedric Main goes to the left hand side for Little, Little shoots comes across the box not sure, so cool, yeah. Little put his laces through it but it seems almost a cross shot, I don't know why she wasn't hitting the target there, I think it was a miss hit it was a poor pass out from Curzon and Cornish was on it like a shot, so now we've got a corner from the Darlow right it's going to be Ben Little, left footer some runners in the box, it's gone far post, it's going to go all the way over. Claims of touch off a Curzon player, the referee's given it, it's another corner for Darlow. We've doubled our corner count. Uh, it's like London buses, isn't it? You wait for one and two come along at once, but uh, kind of a deep ball there. Wait to see that. Ball comes over, it's a bit lower this time, it's cleared. Finds Little, Little plays it out to the wide again, it's back to Little, can he put it in? No, he plays it infield. For Carl Griffiths, the man from 30 yards, he shoots again! And the keeper has to get a hand to it and pushes it wide. I was almost asking, why is he going to shoot from there? It was a hell of a distance out, but it was a good strike and it was swirling in the air. Uh, but it was a good, comfortable save in the end by Cam Mason. But probably the best chance of the game so far for uh, Darlow. And uh, you can see why uh, Griff is now back with the ball. There's a, there's a definite growing mist from on both sides of the pitch. Now it's with 14, it's Moles, it gets, over to the, gets the one two. Dalo needs to just close this out. Tries to stop, block the cross, but at the cost of another corner. Corner count is starting to rack up, John. It is, fifth corner of the game. Uh, it's still 3 2 to Dalo, though, so the second corner of the game for. Um... Right, let's see how this corner goes. Left footer from the right side, it's going to go swinging in, just like Dalo. Dalo get ahead on it, but it's not clear. Comes across as a header towards the goal. Matty, Korn, Matty Young has to dive across his goal. Field area. It was just players linking up well and it forces Curzon back and they've got to throw in pretty much in line with their edge at the six-yard box. And Did now uh, Peterborough just taking the lays away at Banbury. Dalo contesting the ball, got it back on the edge of the box. They've got to the edge, it's going to pop a Mitch Curry, gets a shot. Ooh, tackle what just a, comes in. What a block that is there by Hayhurst. Uh, the left centre-half, That it's a 
golden opportunity there for Mitch Curry, but there's a great body, what you call defending, putting the body on the line, and it looks like it's hurt him, and, and Dala win the fourth corner of the game. Right, in comes this corner, again, the far post, goes all the way over, gets ahead of the goal! It's given as well. And it's Toby Lees, puts it the far post, just gets his head on it, and it's just an empty net to give Darlow the lead that's a, a great ball in uh, Cameron Mason's appealing to the referee why that's uh, not been a foul on him but it's Toby Lee's at the back post and Darlow take a lead here and Cameron Mason's just gone into the book so that's the first yellow card of the game as well I just hope that yellow card doesn't stop Will Hatfield from playing the way he has been playing because he's been really instrumental in that midfield he has him and Lee, uh, Toby Lee's have, have been linking up really oh, well so Tom Platt, sorry, been lovely bit of play really there well. by Moles he's just goosed is that Ben Little and he's played the ball off to the right hand side now it's with uh, Campbell. Back with Campbell. They're playing in front of the Dalo defence. I mean, earlier on they were playing balls beyond to push, but they now seem to be playing in front of the Dalo defence, which we can quite happily have. And well, now they're trying to play the reverse ball. Now that's played down the right hand side. Cross comes in. Spencer with it. Shot comes in. And it flows wide. There's a great opportunity for Kurz and lovely play down that right. Yeah, really nice link-up play. We highlighted Jordan Richards as a, a real outlet on that right-hand side to be able to cross the ball in. Just moving the ball, cut out by Ben Headley. But he finds uh, finds uh, Matty Cornish. He sprays a nice ball to the right-hand side. It's got Curry Griff gets it. on the. He's on that right. Holds it up. Nobody closing him down. He lays it off to Kyle Griffiths. Now he needs to move into position. The ball played in. Little tackles the keeper. That's going to be a yellow card, I think, for Little. Uh, I think he's just dived in, hasn't he? Tried to get hold of the ball. Both players have hurt each other, and uh, it doesn't look like it. It's going to be a yellow, surprisingly. Uh, but Little's, yeah, just Indeed. dived in for that one on Mason. Um, both players going for the ball, and uh, it's a. <laughs> it's a referee's reminded me. He's reminded me of Terminator 2. Sorry, just when he uh, when he suddenly starts doing that death walk. <laughs> It's a fast-paced walk. It looks like Terminator 2 just coming along. It looks like he's going to wipe him out. But on this occasion, as you were right, John, no yellow card. Yeah, it's just a coming together of players, isn't it? Both going for the ball. Central midfielder. Uh, dead ball specialist. Oh, a lovely again by Cornish. He's getting the ball and turning on it. Lovely. And he sprayed a nice ball out to, to Griffiths. It's just a little bit behind him. Griffiths put the ball in. It's also Curry. Can he turn? Oh, he just uh, he couldn't quite get the ball under his out of his feet to get the shot away. Oh, goal at Farsley. Farsley got one back against Rushall. Come on, Farsley Celtic, as we say. You uh, you felt there with Curry, probably had a little bit too much time and had too much time to think about it rather than just putting his foot through the ball. But uh, well dealt with there by Curzon in the end. And it was a lovely ball on that right-hand side. And Gala is certainly getting some advantage in on the, that right-hand side. In the meantime, that's quarter of an hour of the, of the 45 gone. So half an hour left. Curzon now coming down this left-hand side. Play it into the box. The substitute. Marcel gets a shot in and it's an equaliser. Marcel Lewis tricks the ball in the corner of the penalty box, turns, gets it onto his right foot and he puts it far wide of uh, Matty Young's stretched out arms. A lovely goal. First touch was opening it out. Second touch, he just curled it into that bottom corner. That's an excellent goal by the substitute. He's come on to make an impact. It's his first goal for the club and that's an excellent finish. The Burnley Loney from, from Darlow in this last couple of minutes. They've probably had a little bit more of the possession inside the Curzon half and causing a few more. Uh, was, was too far. Sorry, John. Again, uh, the turn has played out from the back and Darlow are way too far back. Oh, great play by Main. Get the tackle and that's a chance. Will Hatfield <laughs> puts it out to the right hand side for Sal Kelds. Can he find a ball? He comes in field. He pokes it. Oh, it's in between Cornish and Main. Now it's a chance for them to come away, but no. Well played by Will Hatfield. Now it's Ben Headley. Can he make a run down this left hand side? He does. He plays it out. And there's Andrew Nelson. Andrew Nelson's going to get the byline to the box. Puts it back. Oh, there was. A who well, was that? Sal Kel trying to run in. Good, ta good defensive Richards tackle. There. It, Hayhurst, sorry, on that left-hand side. It was a good sliding challenge, wasn't it? Sal Kel versus Hayhurst, and uh, Hayhurst wins that one. But really good play there from Darlow, and uh, good link-up play on this left-hand side. There's and a lot of pushing and a shoving in that six-yard box. They've gone far side. It's cleared by Curzon. Out to Headley. Headley gets it down. Good, little, good terse touch. Gets it to Cornish on this left-hand side. He plays it edge of the box, edge of the box for Will Hatfield. He's going to have a shot. He shoots, and it's a wonder goal! Oh, an absolute bad stomach oh, from Will goal. Hatfield! Absolute oh. bad wonder goal, 30 yards! Yeah, it was Steven Gerrard in the FA Cup final. Absolutely, put his laces through it. Keeper couldn't move, with his, he's injured with his legs. Put it to the side of him, he couldn't get to it. Top of the corner, Will Hatfield 
Here's an Ashton 1, Darlington 2. We talked about it, didn't we? When the keeper went down injured, have a shot, force the shot in. On his right-hand side. Exactly. Um, who, exactly. Who did well to, to score the goal for Curzon. There's something funny with the temperature because they're really out breathing. Whether it's just they've all jumped up an, a couple of notches. <clears throat> just get my voice back a little bit. Sounds like you need to take a drink. I, might, the, I might just do that. As the ball is with George Waring inside the Darlow half at the moment. And he finds Will Haywhurst, who plays it into Lewis, the goal scorer <laughs> for... Um, for and Curzon Ashton Hatfield wins it back again and he finds Cedric Main he puts it over the top Sal Kell's got something to run on to he's going to get to the edge of the penalty box he shoots oh I think he got the brief about getting a shot in but it was a little bit too easy for the keeper there he's a little There's bit too far to, out to go for so Dala just needs all the game management in the world that drummer boy is in full effect he's prepared to put it in the shift for the black six let's hope the team can he's as trying well. to get warmer then well that as well and they put the ball into the box. It's uh, oh well played by the young man, Young. He just dived down at the ball for just for a it's second. George there. Waring that just couldn't quite bring the ball down, and eventually he took a heavy touch, and it just allowed Matty Young to jump on the ball there. Well done by the Sunderland Loney. Has Waring gone up top? He has up top. Yeah, he he went up top earlier um, alongside Jimmy Spence. Um, about 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 five six minutes or so to go. Fortunately, um, his lack of agility he couldn't quite uh, bring the ball and get the shot away, but. To be fair to the young keeper, Young, he uh, got down to it well. Oh, lovely play by Maine. It's broken for Sal Keller shoots! Oh, oh and it just what an opportunity. Wide. Finds its way to Headley. Headley only can direct it away, but it's going to be uh, Edwards is coming with, away with it. Is it. Edwards? Richards. Richards. It's one of those names. Puts the cross in, but it's nowhere near a blue shirt. And safely, Matt Young dives across to put it in his hands. That's so they're still running the clock. So we're 92 and a half minutes. So we have three and a half minutes left, John. Matty Young has done very well there. George uh, Waring has just stood on the back line to try and catch him out. Uh, and Matty Young's just looked directly behind him, just laughed at him and said, not a chance. No flies on me. 17. When what I a, was 17. What a composed finish. Salkel's through again now, here. has got broken three shoots. It's got parry to the keeper. He's properly limping after every save. We're just getting it too close to the keeper at the minute. The... Darlow player to get so on with it. He has he so. got, got it moving. He finds Cornish back to Griffiths. Griffiths just pumps it down the channel for Main. It's cleared by Curzon. Now it's back with their last centre half and he's going to pump it. He is. Tom Allen watches it, gets a foot in, but uh, Wiley play from Waring. But Hatfield comes in and takes it. They're all baying for blood when Hatfield's anywhere near the ball. Platt's down, isn't he, at the moment? He's just oh, feeling it in good. his car. As Darlow looked to break once again here with Rivers, and it's he's going to throw it through to Nelson. Rivers on finds Nelson. Nel oh, his first touch just lets him down. No, he great touch. He's back into the penalty box and shoots. Oh, yes! oh absolutely Nelson! brilliant. Puts it in. A lovely football. football. What a play. It looked like he lost it, and then he goosed the defender, and then he just put the ball wide of the, defend of the goalie and his limping leg, and he thought, was it going to go around the post? But it did. Get in! Absolutely brilliant there from Nelson. He scored the winner on Saturday. He's done the same again this evening. And Matty Young is going to take the score kick. And he does. He sprays it to the left-hand side. Andrew Nelson, scorer, two in two. And the referee puts us out of bizarre misery. And Darlington have won back-to-back. -back. Another one out the way. We've won from behind. We've won back-to-back. -back. And... We'll give you an idea of the league table in a second. But what about that game, John? Excellent. We, we talked about taking chances. I thought that I, I re resort back to it a few weeks ago. The, the performance away to Banbury to the performance here tonight. Completely different team. They look like a team full of confidence that are driven forward. The front three have been excellent, but we talked about the spine in the likes of Toby Lees, who grabbed the first goal, and then Tom Platt in that midfield area. And when Scott Barrow went off, he dropped into that defensive uh, defensive position but Will Hatfield with that second goal it was a bit of a setback wasn't it when Lewis equalised it was a great finish by Curzon Ashton